Today, we're gonna make one of my very favorite recipes. It's an Italian flatbread salad. It's been in my family for years. We're gonna start with the first two ingredients because we gotta set it overnight. So you wanna get some bread dough and place it in a deep bowl. And you wanna go ahead and pour some olive oil over it. I recommend using a really good olive oil too because it picks up the flavoring. Now, we're gonna go ahead and cover this with saran wrap. And we're gonna set it on our counter overnight. Okay, and I've got one ready so we can get the salad underway. Okay, now this is the way it should look when it's all risen. Now we wanna punch the bread dough down. And you wanna be sure that all the air is out of it. Next, you wanna go ahead and break it off in pieces and leave it in the bowl so we can prepare our pan. Now you can make four servings out of this or you can make two big flatbreads, depending on how you wanna do it. Now we're gonna roll this into a ball and it's sticky. Okay. And we've got three nice heaping helpings right here. Now you wanna get your pan nice and warm and we wanna use fresh butter to heat up our pan, okay? Here's the secret to making this so delicious. You need just a pinch of salt, garlic salt, we're seasoning our pan, and you want cracked pepper right there. And you wanna go ahead and take your bread dough and you wanna place it over the butter like so. All right, now you need a big spatula for this. You wanna be sure that the bread starts to brown very quickly, that's the key. You wanna be sure it picks up all those seasonings. You keep pressing until it becomes really flat, so you wanna get all the air out of the bread. And you wanna put the pan on really high, okay? Keep turning it and flipping it. It's gonna brown very quickly, okay? You can see how all the seasonings are starting to go into the bread, okay? Starting to brown it pretty quickly here. I like to make it as big as I can so I can have a lot of salad on it. Okay, we're gonna flip it one more time. Yeah, now it's starting to get good and brown. That's why you wanna use the butter. Don't use oil in this because it's just gonna make it real greasy. The butter gives it a good crispy crust. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. It's almost ready. Now it's almost done. You wanna be sure to have a plate ready so you can put it on the plate. And you're gonna to wanna to leave it cool once we get it on the plate. Now you can turn off your heat. We've cooked it on high and we're just gonna flip it one more time to be sure it gets brown on both sides. That's the way that you want it to look right there. Now, you're gonna pull it off the heat and place it on your salad plate, okay? Now it's ready, let's build a salad. You wanna use fresh ingredients. So let's start with the lettuce, okay? I like mixed greens. I think it really makes the salad look beautiful. And try to stack them up high. This is a beautiful plate. Try to get as high as you can. And I like to use a lot of the red leaves. That really makes it very beautiful. I remember when I was little, we would stack the salad and see who could get it the highest. All right, there we go. And next, you wanna go ahead and add some white onion. This makes it really colorful. Go ahead and dice it. Sometimes I also sliver the onion too, make it real translucent. Now, you can add blue cheese or feta cheese and I'm gonna go ahead and use the feta cheese today for color, okay? Oh, it smells so good. And you can go ahead and place some of the cheese around the bread and let it melt a little bit on that hot bread. It's so good. All right, now I made these ahead of time, but you can take your walnuts and put them in butter and brown sugar, and it really adds flavoring to this delicious salad. Again, can't have enough of these walnuts on your salad. Oh, it's looking so good. Now, no salt and pepper on this salad. It's healthy. We're gonna drizzle a little bit of balsamic vinegar over the top, like so. 
And you want to get a sweet balsamic vinegar. That is really the ticket here to making it so delicious. Okay now. Now it's finished. I hope you'll make this salad a part of your family recipes. I'm Susie Homemaker. That's Keeping Life Simple. We'll see you back here next time.